I'm Charlie Hillman. I'm the vice president and head of music products. And my team is working to help enable those life-changing moments. And I'm excited to share with you how we're working with the music industry to build the best proposition for both artists and music fans. It's important to remember that, first and foremost, Spotify is a music company. All of our music team strategies ladder up to two primary goals. Making a unique and superior music experience for fans and creating a more open and valuable ecosystem for artists. And these two goals really complement one another, which is clear to see when you look at the playlisting ecosystem we've spent the last decade defining and perfecting. Whatever your mood, your style, whatever the occasion, Spotify has something for you. And as Gustav mentioned, Spotify drives around 22 billion discoveries a month. On top of that, one third of all new artist discoveries happen on personalized algorithmic playlists. Listeners love this exposure to new music, as well as the personalized touch. Discovery is our bread and butter, and it's driving a level of engagement that no streaming service can claim. According to a recent report from Apple, in the US, iPhone users spend over 50% more time on Spotify than our next closest music streaming competitor, and more than double the time on Spotify than the rest of our competition. In markets like the UK, Germany, Australia, the gap between Spotify and other streaming services is even larger. More time spent on Spotify means greater customer retention, driving more subscriptions around the world and expanding our advertising in inventory. And since Spotify and rights holders share in the same pool of revenue, our incentives are aligned. So our personalized playlisting experience drives an incredible amount of listening time on Spotify. And this, in turn, presents enormous opportunities for more artists around the world to find a fan base. There's far more shelf space on Spotify today than there's ever been in any record store or any radio station, meaning that revenue opportunities now reach far beyond the biggest stars. Consider this, over the past two years, 150,000 artists have been added to a Spotify playlist for the first time. And that can be a career-making moment. In 2021, for the first time ever, more than 50,000 artists generated more than $10,000 from Spotify alone, which likely means over $40,000 across all sources of recorded royalties. And that's a far cry from the music industry of the past which favored superstars twice as much as it does today. At the peak of the CD era, 25% of US sales were accounted for by the top 50 artists. In 2021, only 12% of US streams on Spotify were from the top 50. Spotify has fundamentally changed the music ecosystem, democratizing access to audio for listeners around the world lowering barriers to entry for artists, and allowing an increasing number of artists to succeed. Before I go into our marketplace business, which focuses on building tools and services for artists, I'd like to invite Selena Ong and Madeline Bennett up to the stage, who are going to show you how artists are crossing borders and finding fans in what were previously unlikely places. Thank you, Charlie. I'm Selena Ong, Global Head of Editorial for Music. And my name is Madeline Bennett, and I lead the Global Music Content Strategy for Spotify. The music industry is rising back to peak levels, driven by streaming. In 2021, streaming revenue alone exceeded total recorded industry revenue in each year from 2009 to 2016. While physical sales have fallen dramatically, streaming and other sources of revenue have carried the industry forward. And the recorded music industry is expected to be a nearly $80 billion business by 2030. Alongside the shift to streaming, another exciting trend has taken shape. Listening has become far more diverse. 
This means continuing tailwinds for a broader array of artists at all stages of their career. Spotify has opened the floodgates, enabling artists from markets who historically might not have had much opportunity in the music business to captivate a global audience. And so many are finding success, a case in point, of the artists generating 10,000 or more a year from Spotify. 34% live in countries outside of the top 10 music markets. And artists from an increasingly wide variety of cultures are bringing new people to Spotify to listen, to share, and to connect. We are by far the most global platform, the most tapped into local scenes, and the most capable of developing opportunities for artists at scale. No other streaming service is better positioned to identify, amplify, and help shape culture than Spotify. In 2014, the way that music traveled on Spotify was mostly a transatlantic affair. At that time, Spotify was available in just over 50 countries. And this map shows how streaming traffic was primarily focused between our US and our European markets. In the years since, we've expanded into more than 100 additional markets. We've made dramatic improvements in our playlisting and promotional capabilities, and by honing our ability to recommend the listener's next favorite song regardless of language, we have helped to spread music from markets like Puerto Rico, South Korea, and Colombia all around the world. And the result? Here's that same map for 2021. This is the difference between 60 million users in 50 markets and 422 million listeners across 183 markets. Now imagine this map in 2030. We will see a kaleidoscope of activity, tens of millions of artists, a billion listeners, leveraging the power of Spotify to tap into music culture and connect to a borderless global audience. But let's go one step deeper and show you how Spotify helps an artist go global. The next big hit can come from anywhere. And in recent years, no genre has traveled quite as far as K-pop. Top K-pop songs often ignite first in North America, Indonesia, the Philippines, Brazil, and Southern Europe. Then after about a week, interest spreads to East Asia and the rest of Southeast Asia. <clears throat> Two to three months later, we'll see the peak in key Latin and South Af American markets. Then they broaden out to a more mainstream audience in the US and Canada. So how, how does something like this happen? Well, the music always speaks for itself, but we also have our fingers on the pulse. And when something is bubbling, not only is Spotify there at the outset, we also know how to fan the flames. This year, we rebranded our genre flagship playlist, now called K-Pop On. We introduced it to a broader global audience, driving more than 9 billion K-Pop streams per month. Because of our efforts, more than half of K-pop streams now come from outside of the Asia-Pacific region. And it's playlists like this that are helping to propel artists to new audiences around the world. But Korean artists aren't the only ones connecting with new audiences. Let's take a look at what's happening in Puerto Rico. Streaming has helped Latin artists break through to the global mainstream like never before. And as a result, the Latin music industry is predicted to surpass $1 billion in US revenue for the first time this year. And while there are many Latin artists who have landed on the global stage, one artist sits in a class of his own, Bad Bunny. For the past two years in a row, Bad Bunny has been Spotify's top streamed artist globally. And with the release of his new album, Un Verano Sin Ti, he achieved 183 million album streams in the first 24 hours, making him the most streamed artist in a single day. And one of the many reasons that Bad Bunny's album connected with so many fans is because Benito and his team partnered with Spotify on an effective strategy. Together, we made the album available on demand to our free tier users for a limited time. And this free on demand capability captured the attention of a far broader global audience. 
Fans were hooked. All 23 of the album's tracks debuted in the top 30 of Spotify's daily global songs chart, and Bad Bunny took up nine of the 10 top slots. And to top it off, this album drove hundreds of thousands of new users onto our platform. Artist partnerships like these are the key to our continued platform growth. Now let's take a trip across the Atlantic to Africa where last year Spotify significantly expanded its presence by launching in new territories. It wasn't long after that we began seeing breakout stars from places like Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, finding audiences in the US, France, Philippines, and beyond. And Spotify helped facilitate this cultural exchange, supporting the explosion of African music every step of the way. From day one, We've championed Fireboy's DML's Peru, as well as Finesse by Nigerian producer Fields. We've introduced WizKid and Thames to an international audience through our network of playlists across the world, including today's top hits. And through our marketing campaign for African Heat, our flagship playlist, we've partnered and celebrated the music of Focalistic, Lady Do, Olamide, and more. We are not only supporting the hypergrowth from the region through editorial coverage and industry partnerships, we're also the first global music streaming service to have a notable presence in continental Africa. We have a team of local employees fully immersed in the local culture. And never before has the African music industry connected with a glo global audience at this scale. And we're just getting started. And that's what sets us apart from our competition. We are the preferred destination for artists because we help to take an active role in achieving their dreams, partnering with them to think outside the box, and working together to help them succeed. Our local teams on the ground see early indications of a trend, and our worldwide strength allows us to showcase these on a global scale. By unlocking the ability of any artist from anywhere in the world to connect with listeners everywhere. We are tapping into a potential market of billions of people. And with that, we'll pass it back to Charlie, who will share more about the tools that we're building for the modern music business. Thank you. Thanks, Madeline and Selena. As you can see, the music industry is changing fast. There have never been fewer barriers to entry, and that's enabling more and more talented artists to be discovered. Songs can break out in hours. A fan base can emerge in days. Careers can take hold in weeks. Many artists are even seeing success with just a release or two. But with this reduction in barriers comes an increase in the number of artists seeking success. We're in the midst of an explosion of creativity where tens of thousands of songs are uploaded each day. And that rate of daily uploads has doubled in the last two years. In this rapidly growing landscape, artists need an evolving toolkit that works for the millions who will make up tomorrow's music industry. One that mirrors their creativity and ambition by offering speed and scale. In 2017, we launched Spotify for Artists. At the time, it was purely an analytics product, a, a powerful, free resource for artists and their teams to better understand their audiences. Today, Spotify for Artists is an integral part of every professional artist toolkit. Since I talked to you in March of 2018, the number of artists using our Spotify for Artists product suite on a monthly basis has increased more than six times. In fact, Today, 83% of our platform streams come from an artist using our creator tools at least monthly. And this is the top of the funnel. This is the foundation where we make all of our tools and products available for artists and their teams. At Spotify, we've built our end-to-end -end proposition for artists by directly addressing the core needs that artists have. To enable artists to express themselves, we need to give them ways they can stand out and show their creativity. To help artists turn uh, listeners into fans and super fans, 
We need to give them the most powerful tools to promote their art. And of course, artists ultimately need to earn a living. Not only is Spotify the biggest single source of revenue in recorded music history, providing over $7 billion in 2021 alone, we're also committed to unlocking new ways for artists to monetize their audience. Now, let's get into how we're helping artists grow their fan bases. One of the reasons we're the go-to destination for artists is because we uniquely provide them with a core set of valuable free resources, useful for any stage of an artist's career, that helps them get the music in front of the right fans. For example, we let all artists have the opportunity to pitch their music to our playlist editors. We also let artists control the visual expression around their songs and their artist profile on Spotify, allowing them to express themselves beyond the music and drive more engagement. All of these features and more are freely available for artists and completely self-service. In addition to these free tools, we've also invested in building the most performant and effective commercial tools for promotion in the streaming era. Because there's so much being added to Spotify every day, artists need tools that will help them stand out, now more than ever. And we're uniquely positioned to deliver effective promotion for artists for a few reasons. First, unlike, say, social media marketing, our promotion tools reach people that have already actively made the decision to open up Spotify and listen to music. It's contextual. Plus, our ability to target listeners based on their listening activity, their taste, is second to none. And further, we have the unique ability to actually report back how many people listen to or save the music as a result. Our ability to deliver the best promotion offerings for artists represents a tremendous opportunity, not just for Spotify, but for each of the over 3 million unique artists who released new songs in the past year, as well as the growing number of artists releasing today and tomorrow. So let me tell you a little about how far we've come with these commercial promotion services since we first previewed this business line for you. And let's start with how we help artists connect with new listeners in personalized listening sessions, which we customize for each and every user. These include playlists like Discover Weekly, genre mixes, radio stations, and autoplay. In 2020, we introduced our Discovery Mode program, which is powered by algorithmic promotion and is loved by those who have tried it. In fact, from Q1 2021 to Q1 2022, Discovery Mode had 98% customer retention, illustrating the appeal of the product. And that includes a, a broad array of over 50 labels and distributors that in turn represent hundreds of thousands of artists, everything from relatively unknown to global superstars. In early testing, artists that have tracks in discovery mode increase their listenership by over 40%. And almost half of that growth comes from listeners who had never listened to the artist before. One of the most attractive aspects is the cost structure. There's no upfront cost to participate. Instead, Spotify only charges a commission on recording royalties the track generates in those personalized listening sessions. And this gives artists at any stage of their career, regardless of the size of their marketing budget, access to the same resources as the biggest stars in the world. This is a stark contrast to the music industry of the past, where only the biggest stars with major marketing budgets would have had access to the most effective marketing tools. We're really only at the beginning of the discovery mode opportunity. It's not yet available at scale to artist teams around the world or as a self-service tool. And with no upfront budget required, there's significant potential for adoption. We're also hard at work expanding our visual native ads for music promotion. Because we can reach all of our users in the place where they're actually listening, these ads perform far better than other places where labels spend their digital marketing dollars. And that leads them to routinely increasing their spend after they try out the tools. Marquee is our full screen, visual, sponsored recommendation of artists' new releases. 
And we recently expanded access to it by rolling out a self-serve buying experience in the US right from the platform people are already using, Spotify for Artists. As a result, from Q4 2021 to Q1 2022, we doubled the number of new customers while maintaining an 85% retention rate from existing ones. And in Q1, revenue grew 224% year over year. The reason we're seeing such meaningful engagement is because of the tremendous impact the tool has for artists. On average, people who see a marquee are twice as likely to save songs from the promoted release to their playlist. That means listeners aren't just streaming the music when they see the notification, they continue to engage with the artist, demonstrating real potential for long-term fandom. And artists that leverage marquee for their new release saw three times the lift in listeners for the rest of their catalog. So that means marquee isn't just sparking interest in that release, it's, it's inspiring fans to revisit older releases, multiplying that artist to fan engagement. It's important to remember that so far we're only targeting listeners in 12 markets. And as you know, Spotify is available in 183, so there's plenty of room to reach new listeners and expand marketing spend on Spotify. So where do our promotion products go from here? Well, these products are still in their early stages with plenty of room for growth. We're working closely with our partners across the music industry to innovate on these promotional tools, identify new opportunities, build new formats, and target different segments of listeners. When it comes to promotion, no one can match us on format, our ability to target, or on reporting of measurable results. And with a user base that's well on its way to one billion listeners, Spotify continues to be the most important place for labels to market their music more efficiently. In addition to helping artist teams promote and grow their audience, we're also focused on helping them earn in more ways. Today, Spotify has helped drive incredible progress in the revenues artists are generating off their music. We're proud that we're the biggest contributor to the recorded music industry. And thus far, that's largely been revenue driven from streaming music royalties. But we know that when it comes to fans spending on artists, there's lots of untapped potential. Beyond music, touring and merch are significant pieces of the equation. And we think there's a huge opportunity to help artists drive more demand by seamlessly including them into the Spotify product experience, which is already the most powerful audience engagement platform in the world. So we're building solutions for both artists and fans, all while growing new lines of profit for both artists and Spotify. There's a ton of investment in this space from non-music companies to help creators get paid, but just like in music promotion, we have some pretty unique advantages. First, Spotify has the right context. Fans come into Spotify expecting a music environment where they can engage deeply with artists. So offers like ticketing and merch, they're expected. Second, Spotify has the data. We own, we see, we drive the full fan funnel from passive artist discovery all the way to super fandom. And we see all the data that comes with that journey. And Spotify serves customers on both sides of the marketplace. For a lot of fans, Spotify is the primary way that they interact with their favorite artists. And so for many artists, Spotify is where they have their largest audience and investing in their presence on our platform is vital to driving their career. We're already capitalizing on these unique advantages. For instance, we integrate listings from top ticketing platforms to sell concert tickets at scale within Spotify. And our Fans First program uses Spotify data to identify and reward the artist's most passionate fans with an exclusive offer like advanced access to concert tickets, exclusive merch, or an invite-only event. To date, the program has generated more than $300 million in revenue for the music industry. Also, we recently enabled artists to sell merch, vinyl, other offerings directly to their fans on their Spotify artist pages through a custom integration with Shopify. Now, while we're investing in helping artists sell more physical goods, we also know that monetizing superfans is about more than that. 
We want to open up ways for artists to directly interact with their audience, creating meaningful engagement and monetization opportunities. For starters, we're exploring how we can leverage our live audio feature, Spotify Live. One new experience is exclusive live audio rooms hosted by the artists with their top Spotify fans. In these intimate spaces, artists can celebrate a special musical moment, like a new release, and earn revenue by selling merch, promoting concert tickets, and receiving tips all inside the live room. We're learning about the best ways that artists can engage and earn in this format, and even seeing positive signals on streaming impact long after the event is over. We're currently testing this with a select, diverse array of artists, and our early results are promising. In a lot of ways, these monetization businesses are where our promotion businesses stood a couple years ago. Early stage, but with huge potential. And just like our promotion businesses, we expect to build for scale. As we diversify revenue streams for artists and identify the best ways to increase spending from a user base that's well on its way to one billion, we'll further enrich artists, even outside their rapidly growing streaming royalties, and deliver margin impact for Spotify. For the music vertical, our goal is to deliver another strong year of growth. As our promotion initiatives scale, and we lean into these new revenue lines. As we built tools to help artists engage, promote, and monetize, we've gone from offering distribution and royalties to providing much more value that can propel an artist's career both on Spotify and off. And as we've provided more value, it's generated value for Spotify too, as these marketplace businesses have been the primary factor in growing our music gross margins. And given the strong growth rates, this revenue will continue to be the primary driving force to help us further improve those margins. This means we'll continue to grow what we offer to artists and fans so that Spotify expands to be not just a, a licensed music service, but a platform for artist expression. Not just playlists you hope to get on, but the most important and reliable marketing platform to develop an audience. And not just streaming income, but the place where artists monetize fans through multiple revenue streams. Our marketplace vision is coming to fruition. We're the only music streaming service this committed to helping artists and bringing more money into the industry. We're driving a stronger business for Spotify that will only increase as we scale these opportunities.